Alrighty, everyone, here we are with day two in my journey with COVID. Uh, lots to talk about today, but somebody brought up from the first video that they would appreciate some baseline data about me and kind of my lifestyle so people can get a better idea of how my body's fighting this versus people in different situations, etc. So a little bit of baseline data about me. Um, I'm 34 years old. I haven't weighed myself in years and years, but I like to eat and I don't lead a super active lifestyle. I'd say I'm probably over the 250 mark for weight. Um, I am a high school teacher, has a career, obviously, since this video is on teaching with Mr. T. I have a family here at the house. I've got a wife and two young kids. I, for eating sake, I tend to not eat the healthiest, hence my weight to height ratio. I'm about 5'10", five, 5'11", five, five, um, tall. For fighting COVID, for trying to help my body fight it, one of the main things I'm doing is, as much as possible, I'm getting the sleep that I need to get. Uh, I am, in general, feeling more tired each day, uh, just feeling more lethargic than I normally feel, even though lethargy is kind of a state of being for me. Um, so I'm trying to get lots of sleep and I'm drinking a ton of water. I think I've had more water in the last three or four days than I've had in a long time. Um, partly the weather here in Alberta, the air is just super dry right now, but also I'm still feeling it in the nose and the throat. So for general symptoms here on day two, I, I woke up feeling pretty much the same as yesterday. Um, it, was, it wasn't too bad to, to wake up and get out of bed today. Um, in terms of where I'm feeling it, I'm feeling it still in the nose. I'm still getting that sense kind of all day of when you have chlorine pool water go up your nose and you get that burning. That's kind of what I'm living with in both sinuses all day, but they're not overly congested. They're not overly plugged. <sighs> I can still breathe in and out through my nose fairly easily. I'm feeling it a little bit in my throat, <clears throat> a lot of the dryness, um, partly because I talk all day long on Google Meets with my students. I'm still teaching daily. I'm logging into Google Meets with classes all day long every day and drinking a ton of water. The more I talk, the more just dry and uh, raspy my voice gets and I start to <clears throat> feel like I need to do some throat clearing and some water drinking and occasionally I'm I'm hacking up a bit of a dry cough um, and it I think it stems from the the dryness of the air from the consistent talking through teaching with this as well there is the major symptoms still that I'm dealing with, and I know that this is a this is a COVID thing, is the loss of taste and the loss of smell. I did a little bit of research today, uh, not a ton. I went to Dr. Google and just for curiosity's sake, how long is the loss of smell and taste going to last? There was a study done, don't remember the name of the website, so this is super reliable information. Um, but there was a study done on adults that were demonstrating mild symptoms, which I would definitely class, my, class myself as experiencing mild symptoms. And they said that the majority of the taste and smell returned for these adults within eight to nine days. I'm going to be dealing with this for eight to nine days of the loss of taste. But with the mild symptoms that I'm dealing with, I count myself very lucky in this situation compared to what others, um, the severity that others have had to deal with. But I, I saw something going around on TikTok uh, a little while ago, and I thought I would try it for y'all so you can see kind of like how much this is gone. Um, all we had around the house were white onions. So I have just kind of cut myself a little sliver of just straight up white onion. And I thought I'd just top it off with a little Tabasco because what is some raw onion without Tabasco on it, right? There we go. Bottoms up.
zero taste. The eyes are watering a little bit from the Tabasco. There's still a little bit of heat, but I taste nothing. Literally nothing in that bite. It's crazy. So again, I classify myself as definitely mild symptoms. I'd probably say in terms of how I'm feeling on day two, let's call it out of 10, scale of one to 10, super scientific. Uh, 10 being the 10 being the best I felt in my life. One being I'm on my deathbed. Sorry, just the heat from the Tabasco in the eyes there is really getting me. Let's say I'm probably, I'm probably about a, a five today. So day two in the books, still living in the basement, getting super lonely. What I'm feeling is I'm, I'm feeling today for emotionally, I'm feeling like Kyla, my wife, is really, really taking on a lot upstairs dealing with the two kids dealing with the house when I'm sitting down here not able to do really anything and that's really starting to get to me I feel so bad for her um, here in the kids Shale our youngest he's teething right now a lot of pain and he's screaming and crying and Naya's just getting emotional and I'm just I'm, I'm feeling a lot for Kyla right now and it really is getting to me that I can't be up there to help. I can't be up there to support. So, yeah, that's where we're sitting. Uh, keep your head up. We're all in this together. Talk next time.